Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's Raptor Recap. I'm Jalen. It's my lovely wife, Casey. We're happy to have you here with us again. Um, this is going to be a short recap, but uh, we want to let you guys know upcoming real soon. So stay tuned. Um, the Raptor Recap is getting a relaunch and a redesign. Yes. And it's going to be very exciting. We're working yes. on it for months, actually. Um, so we're very excited for you to see these. Uh, these recaps may be moving to a new day. Uh, but just stay tuned. If you're not already subscribed to Raptor Go, just text Raptor to 797979. If you are international and you're watching this video, then go to the website and um, rapturministries.org show you how to sign up for the Raptor Go uh, without getting it through the text messages um, like uh, the American um, carriers will allow you to do. I'm trying to explain that in a way. If you're international, you can't get it on your phone. It'll send it to you by email. Praise God. Um, but yeah, we just want to let you know coming up, look in the lookout next several weeks here, you're going to see the redesign coming up for the Rapture Recap. It's going to be very exciting. It's going to allow us to just do more of what we're doing now, preaching the gospel, and offer you some really good insight to what God is doing through Rapture Upgrade, Ministries. Upgrade, quality, and yes, everything. Lord. It's going to be awesome. You're going to like it. Yeah, it's going to be really good. Um, but for today's service, we're still on the topic of our identification in Christ. This, I feel like, is a message that someone needs to hear as soon as they get born again. Absolutely. Because it takes us too long in the body of Christ to understand and realize this principle uh, that our Davis taught mm -hmm. us today. And the longer you fail to understand who you are in Christ, the longer it takes for you to have any sort of victory in Christ. Um, we know who Christ is. We know his attributes. And yet, and we know that we're supposed to, most of us know we're supposed to have those same attributes. We don't understand why we don't and how we're supposed to get them. But before you can do any of that, you've got to understand just exactly what is your positioning. Mm -hmm. When you look at you and you look at Christ, how do y'all relate to each other? Who is who? Where does Christ begin? Where do you leave off? What does it mean to be in Christ? How much of Christ are you? How much of what he got do you get? Where do you, how, how far can you go without being sacrilegious, without being blasphemous? How, how can we understand that? And the Apostle Paul broke it down in all of his letters, and we just went through it. Everything that Dr. Davis taught us was backed up by the word. He had a scripture to back it up. It literally said, and he more or less just repeated it. But in that explanation, you have to come to grips with the reality that you are in Christ. Amen. And I believe that they even made a statement, and I'm trying to remember how he said it, but it's like if you don't understand this, A, when things happen to you, you just think it's God being in control and what you can do about it. Or B, you know there is something you can do about it, but you don't want to take action to find out how you can take control in your life. And so what you find out is once you find out who you are in Christ, it brings a great deal of responsibility. Oh, it does. And um, you also made the statement that in order to live by faith, you have to know who you are. Mm -hmm. It's so important because you can't do something that you don't know that yeah. you're able to do. Exactly. And he used a really great analogy about how we identify with the body of Christ or mm -hmm. with the head of Christ. Yep. And he used the analogy, I'm trying to say how he said it. I may not get it all the mm -hmm. way right. But basically, just look at us. I have a head mm -hmm. and I have a body. And he said that if you know somebody well, you can pretty much identify them by any parts of mm -hmm. their body. If I was to show you my hand without my face, you would say, oh, that's Casey's hand. Mm -hmm. if, if you was to see my back or my leg or foot and you knew me well, you would say, oh, that's Casey's back, foot, mm -hmm. you know, hand, leg, whatever, without even seeing the head. But we don't say, oh, that's a hand. We say that's Casey's hand because when you identify Casey, you see my face. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, when we, when we think about somebody, we see their face, not their hand, not their foot or whatever. But nonetheless, we identify with the head. Um, so when we identify with the head of Christ, it don't matter if you're the, the hinky or the toe, mm -hmm. or whatever, we are still Christ. Mm -hmm. And whatever Christ is, so are we. Mm -hmm. Dr. Davis used the analogy, mm -hmm. he said, what if your head had $100 million in the bank account? Um, would your little pinky have a $100 million bank mm -hmm. account? Mm -hmm. Yes, because I am part of the body. Yep. Um, if my if my head has $100 million in the bank, does my, my toe has $100 million? Yes, so mm -hmm. my toe mm -hmm. don't think broke. My little finger don't think broke. Mm -hmm. my, the rest of my body don't think broke because I, Casey, the head, has $100 million in the bank. Medically speaking, did you know there's a disorder where when a body part starts acting unlike mm -hmm. the body, like it stops taking directions from the head, it's mm -hmm. almost like it's a phantom body yeah. part, like almost someone else control. There's a disorder that can happen in the brain and in the body, in the neurological system, 
where your body part starts moving uncontrollably mm -hmm. as if it's not being controlled by your brain. That's called a disorder. So when we operate outside of Christ, that's a disorder in your Christianity. Yeah. Yeah. When you don't identify with Christ and understand that you have everything that he has, and you are part of his body and he is your head, that is a disorder. Mm -hmm. Now, Davis also used the example of amnesia. You know, you watch a movie, people get amnesia, they don't remember who they are, what, what they got, they don't know anything about their family members, who they're married to, their children, they don't know the job they have, it's like they lose all the skills they've learned over the years because they have amnesia. We have Christians, we have amnesia Christians, mm -hmm. you know, acting like they don't know who they are. And they haven't, because they, they haven't taken the time They to haven't taken time to renew their mm -hmm. mind, they haven't taken time to learn, mm -hmm. and we, Dr. Davis, have encouraged yep. us to read yep. the book of Ephesians, yep. because that is like the blueprint of mm -hmm. who we are in Christ, mm -hmm. and read that over and over and over, and we need to really stop struggling with identity. Yep. Because the moment we stop struggling with our identity, we will start walking in victory, because Jesus walked in victory. He yep. overcame so we can have victory. He walks in healing and holdings and prosperity. There's nothing that Christ is missing. So if you are Christ, if you are Abraham's seed, mm -hmm. so then are you Christ. Mm -hmm. So therefore, why are we struggling? It's because we don't identify yep. with him. Look, Galatians 2.20 breaks it all down. It's the last scripture that Davis went to. Galatians 2.20 says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, mm -hmm. but Christ liveth in me. In a life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. What jumped out at me when Dr. David read that, it says, yet not I, but Christ lives in me. What we were focusing on was how, you know, the old debt that you owe yeah. in sin has been taken care of because you died. You were on the cross with mm -hmm. Jesus. He, that, through that substitutionary work, you died. And so you can't go to the grave to try to recollect the debt mm -hmm. because the person is dead. All debts are paid when you die. So because I'm dead, I don't have a debt in sin anymore. So what's new now? Who am I now? I am Christ because Christ lives in me. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else living on the inside of you but Christ. It's as simple as that. Right. He, Paul just said, I am crucified with Christ. Okay, so you're dead. Nevertheless, I live. Well, who's I? Christ. That's right. Christ lives in me. You can't have two spirits in one body. You are now one with Christ. Christ is what's living on the inside of you. And that's the grand total of what we had to come to grips with. You need to listen to this lesson. But the end of the story is this, you are Christ. That's right. That was the whole point. Amen. And if you're not, if you are not Christ, then you're not born again. And you, you, you're not in Christ unless you are Christ because Christ is living on the inside of you. That was the whole point. The body of Christ, the head of Christ, they're not two different entities. Mm -hmm. They are one entity. They are one and the same. Your head controls your body and it's all, it's all connected. This is all one body. This is all one creature that you're looking at right now. It's not two separate things. But as soon as we start talking about Jesus, we want to separate ourselves from mm -hmm. Jesus. We want to say, well, there's Jesus, and then there's us. No, there's Jesus and That's nobody right. else. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. It's just Jesus. Mm -hmm. Because if there's you, that's, the, that's dead and in hell. Because God sees us in Christ. We're the righteous of God in Christ Jesus. He had to see us in Christ so that he could hold no sin against us. That's why he can hold none of our trespasses against us because he sees us in Christ. There is just Christ feeling all in all. So either you are in Christ and you are Christ or you're nothing. You can't pick one. You, you got to pick one, I'm saying. You can't do both. Right. You've got to pick one. So that's what we had to come to grips with today. Either we are in Christ or we're not. We're not. But if you're in Christ, you got access to everything that Christ got. All of his riches and glory, all of his power in the name of Jesus. That was why when the disciples went and began to cast out demons in the name of Jesus, they came back like excited, like, we even have power to demons in our name. They obey us in your name. They were so shocked because in the name of Jesus, every knee bows, like there's nothing that we don't have power over in this world. And Jesus was trying to get them to see that was the whole intent. Mm -hmm. He was giving them an example of, this is what you're going to be able to do in greater when I go to be with the Father. And that's the whole purpose of the Holy Spirit coming to dwell on the inside of us so that we could do everything that Christ could do and so that he could reveal to us and teach us how to be like Christ because we are Christ. Mm -hmm. Because either we're him or we're nothing. That's right. And so, that's it. let's stop struggling with our identity. Mm -hmm. Let's get this thing together and start identifying mm -hmm. with Christ. Start identifying with the power of God yep. and walk in the authority and the victory yep. and the health and the wholeness and the wealth the peace, the joy yep. that is rightfully ours exactly. because we are Christ. We are the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. And whatever he is, 
So are we. Yep. Praise God. And that's Praise it. God. It's as simple as that. So go ahead and listen to this sermon. We're going to send that out of Rapture Go this week. Text Rapture to 797979. So you can listen to this sermon from start to finish. It will awaken in you the same thing that it awakened in us today. Amen. We're doing great things here at Rapture. We thank you for sticking with us thus far. The 90 plus people signed up and subscribed to Rapture Go. Amen. We appreciate you. Like we said, there's new and amazing things coming with this Rapture recap. So stay tuned. You do not want to miss it because it will change your life. And Thank listen, so we want to pray for you. Yes. If you need prayer for anything, you mm -hmm. can text the word pray to 79979. Mm -hmm. That's pray to 797979, and we will pray for you. Mm -hmm. Our prayer teams will be right on it. Yep. And if you want somebody to reach out to you one-on-one -on, -one on the phone, just make sure you leave a note of that in the um, the form that you receive when you text pray to 797979, and we would love to pray for you yep. because we have the authority yeah. With prayer. See, when, when we pray for you here at Rapture, we pray with this knowledge of the things that we're talking yes. about today, of who we, we are in we Christ. Are Christ. Exactly. And when when we pray, people went to Jesus because they expected that whatever thing was wrong with them, mm -hmm. it would be corrected. So when we pray, it's like Jesus praying. Mm -hmm. Because we're only going to do it in his name. That's the whole point of saying in the name of Jesus when you pray. It's not just something like, oh, I put the stamp on it, that means Jesus is going to do something. It means that everything I'm saying, I'm saying it in Jesus' stead. He's back in my play. Mm -hmm. Because I am in him, and I am him in mm -hmm. this earth. And that was the point. That was the whole point. Because as he is, so are we in this world. Amen. And if you're not as he is in this world, then you might as well not be here. You're playing the game wrong. Mm -hmm. And there's no point in calling yourself a Christian if you're not going to be Christ. Mm -hmm. That was the entire point. Mm -hmm. So praise God. Thank you for watching this week's Rapture Recap. We love you. We'll see you on Sunday. <laughs>